MIDI input quantize is part of the new feature set of Samplitude 11. You can turn it on by left clicking on the input Q button for the selected MIDI track. You can also enable it globally by going to the menu item MIDI, Extended MIDI Quantize, MIDI Input Q Global. This will turn input quantize on or off for all MIDI tracks. To choose the input quantize value, left click on the Q toolbar. I'm going to choose a 1 8 note quantize value to begin with. I'm now going to play something with questionable timing. Now my sloppy playing has been quantized to eighth notes. Make sure the MIDI object is selected. Now right click on the Q toolbar to open the MIDI quantize window. If I click on reset quantization, I can hear the original unquantized version. This is how it would have sounded with input quantize turned off. Clicking on apply standard Q will re-quantize the part again. It's worth noting that the commands MIDI note quantize standard and reset quantization are also available from the MIDI menu and they can also be assigned to keyboard shortcuts if needed, as can all the menu commands. Currently assigned shortcuts will always show up alongside the menu command. I'm now double clicking on the MIDI part to open the MIDI editor. Right clicking on the quantize button will open the global grid quantize settings window for the MIDI editor. You can see when I click reset, that the notes return to their original unquantized position. And again, when clicking Apply Standard Q, the notes are requantized to the 1 8 setting. I'll delete that take. As another example, I'm going to play in a part using input quantize set to 16th notes. Left click on the Q toolbar and select the 16th quantize value. Accurate playing has now been quantized to 16th notes on playback. Let's have another look in the MIDI editor. Right click on the quantize button to open the global grid quantize settings. I'm going to toggle between the quantized and unquantized version. A useful aspect of MIDI input quantize is when doing looped or cycled recording. You can build up a groove or a part without stopping and each previous part will be quantized to the current cue setting. You can see the notes being shifted to the correct position after each cycle. Everything is quantized. In this final example, I'm going to show some live MIDI drums being recorded. But instead of choosing a straight 16th quantize value, I'm going to open the MIDI quantize settings window. 
Where it says Q Grid, there is a list of the standard presets, but below there are some custom grooves. Under the Groove Patterns list, there are some MPC Groove Templates. I'm going to choose the S66 MPC template as my input quantize setting. It's important to realize that when using input quantize, monitoring of the initial recording will be unquantized. You will only hear the quantized version upon playback of the take. It will be fairly obvious in this example. The grid in the drum editor reflects the current MPC groove template setting and the MIDI notes have been quantized to this custom grid. If I do a simple comparison between the MPC S66 setting and the straight 116th setting, the visual differences are very obvious. You can quickly experiment using different custom quantize settings by selecting them from the drop down list and then pressing the quantize button. The MIDI notes will then snap to the quantize grid. You can also add some extra notes and they will snap to the grid as well. It's easy to augment the existing groove using this method. I will be covering the subject of groove templates in greater detail in a future video.